it was like the devil was just like I don't know what they did but I, all I can think of truthfully is when you know that's why I just say man you got to be on point you can't be getting yourself caught up in stuff that people can use against you and you know uh, getting bribed and you know or you know you know allowing your family to get you know twisted all in somebody else's mess behind you know something going on with you and you know all that old kind of stuff you know what I mean you got to uh, got to really be careful man and it's a lot of people that it's too late for it's a lot of people it's real too late for but I guess you just got to take it to God and pray over that go ahead and release it you know other than that you ain't try unless you know it's something that maybe would do some harm to you which most of the things that people will hold against you will do harm to you. You know, I don't know. It's a lot of these dudes that play games with cases and playing games and with with people's lives that they just don't like. And, you know, and I'll be like, yeah, that's a trip, you know? I know a lot of dirt on a lot of people, but I don't even get into it, man. Especially, I don't, I mean, I remember a dude, man, you know, was, I was at one of my partner's houses, right? And I see one of my other folks, you know, he cool. We cool, we, you know, all from the Southeast, right? So, I, I'm, I'm actually at the yard's cousin's house, actually, but, so, you know, I go ahead and we all talking and everything. And he's like talking about some stuff that just had happened or something or something. He like, man, let me tell you about this. Man, I had to, you know, I'm like, dude, I don't want to know nothing about what you got going on. You feel me? You know, so so you don't come back one day and be talking about, oh man, you didn't you know told somebody about my business or something. I don't, I don't need none of that in my life. I don't, I don't want to hear about nobody else's business, what they didn't did, if they didn't did something like real strenuous that probably. Uh, will have you in jail for the rest of your life. I don't want to be connected to your situation. You know what I mean? Cause I don't be trusting nothing. I don't, I don't talk to people. My first, sec, first, second case, first case, second case, second. I got caught up on video camera in somebody's car when I was like 18, you know what I mean? Southside Brimster, you know? Actually, the dude that I saw, that's his cousin. Uh, but he's like from a big family over there, you know. But he he went on and knocked down a bunch of people, like literally in San Diego, masking mafia, everything. They had paddy wagons. I'll never forget that day when they took us out of jail. Because what they did they had it set up like like uh, they came to my house right and you know they was oh yeah 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 where are you you know I'm like these are some boys I'm knowing so they give me a paper right and they like yeah you need to come uh, to community service and you know you gotta take care of community service so you, you know you don't have no problems or whatever Man, I went down there in community service. They took us all out on 
in the, at the city dump and that's where the sting was he <laughs> basically just that that was where they was gathering the people at at the city dump you know what i mean you, you can't go nowhere you know i'm like wow that was crazy and uh dude was like you know hey man you know i don't know you want to tell us anything or whatever you know tell us what happened you know we got you, you know, you know what happened and what you did, right? I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. That fool push play. And that was the camera right there. You know, in in his Cadillac, this is 90 something, like early 90s. <laughs> so can you imagine the technology they got now? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Lord have mercy. Like and share though. Subscribe. Let's get it going. All right.